Right, so I've just come from Park Run, Birkenhead Park. First time I've ever done it. Uh, to say I was nervous was is an understatement. Um, somebody said to me in the week on Monday that he thought I was quite an anxious person. I've never really thought about it, but stood there in the park on my own. Um, didn't know anybody there. A lot of people there. There must have been about six to seven hundred people there at least. Um, I was really nervous, really worried. And I don't know what I was worried about, really. Um, kept myself to myself. Uh, me being an idiot, I didn't have my headphones on me, so I couldn't I couldn't put my music on. But, yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, I'm not quite sure what my time was. I haven't checked it online yet, but I'm going to have a look soon. So I'll let you guys know what, what kind of a time I ran. We clocked me, what, said about 27 minutes, which is a bit slow for a 5K for me, but there were a lot of people there, so you're getting stuck in, like, traffic jams quite a lot. So bear that in mind if you're going to go along. If, you, if you're a fast runner, get yourself to the start, start line. If you're a slower runner, get yourself to the back. If you get in the middle, you're stuck at whatever pace most other people are running for portions of it. And especially the track that they run. They run sort of around the lake in the second park of Birkenhead Park, if you know Birkenhead Park at all. Sort of snakes around that. So tight path, you get stuck with whoever you're running with. So bear that in mind. Um, but good, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, I met up with a guy afterwards who I've known for a long time. Um, so you know, at least there was one familiar face there. But if you are thinking of going along to the Birkenhead Park one, they do run park runs out all over the country. So have a look online for it um, and they'll find one local to you. But if you are on the world, you want to come to Birkenhead Park, uh, you don't know anybody, you know, reach out to me, get in touch with me and I'm, I'll be happy to, to join you there one morning. They run it every Saturday, start at nine o'clock. You need to get a barcode to start registering yourself and get a barcode. And then, yeah, you're good to go. So I'll probably be back next Saturday. I'll take my headphones this time, so I'm not um, I'm not running without it. The one weird thing I did find actually running it today, um, just before I finish this little little segment. Um, I have a running pattern, a breathing pattern when I run. I, I breathe in three times and I breathe out two times. Don't ask me why, it's just, just mentally it's something that works for me. But bizarrely, for the first time ever I'm running there and I'm doing three in, three out. Don't ask me why. No, I wasn't like I was copying someone else, I just got into this pattern and it actually worked for me and I didn't feel as tired at the end, whether that was just because I wasn't thinking about it or, or what, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to be trying that next time I go for a run on Monday. Three breaths in, three breaths out, because they, they, generally they say four in, four out. They say do it to the time of your, your, your feet hitting the ground. Um, so that's why I do three and two. It takes you out of sync. If you're thinking four and four, you're concentrating on the foot, so you're always breathing on a right foot, if you know what I mean. Right, left, right, left. Whereas if you do three in, two out, you're out of sync all the time, so you're then thinking about your breathing and not your steps. It makes sense to me. It probably doesn't make sense to you. You probably think I'm talking complete nonsense, but as usual. So, um, yeah, go on, give it a go. Meet someone if you can if you're unsure about what you're doing for the first time, but give it a go. So I'm off home now. Do a bit of working out, and then see what Emma wants to do for the rest of the day. Yeah, good fun. Right. So my workouts are done. I didn't do as many workouts as you usually do. I didn't do the Tabata and I didn't do, uh, it's like a cardio workout, jumps, jumps, star jumps, all that jazz. I didn't do that because I'm playing football tomorrow, I'm playing on 11 aside. I don't really want to knacker myself out. So I've done my 5k this morning at the park run. I've done weights and I've done a bit of core training, crunches, side planks, that kind of stuff. So I've done that this morning. Um, so I'm not as tired as I usually am, but hopefully that will stand me in good stead for tomorrow. I'll be able to play the full 90 tomorrow and not feel the effects. Although last time I played virtually the full 90 and didn't really feel the effects afterwards. So obviously all the running is definitely helping me. Uh, time for weighing. I was 91.5 on Wednesday. Didn't weigh myself at Manuel on Thursday because I didn't go. Because Liverpool won 2-1, but we don't talk about that. Um, so... I'm going to weigh myself now, and hopefully I've lost, I'm hoping to be 91, if I'm 91, that's about net 90.5 roughly, if our scales are slightly out, so yeah, All right, let's give it a go and see what it says. You get to see my uh, wonderful toesies in this photo, no socks today. The fact that you call them toesies. 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 Right, let's give it a go, shall we? Emma's just lost a little bit when she weighed herself, so that's good news. So hopefully... 
91.3. Right, okay. 91.3. I think that, though, is because you're getting weighed after workouts. I think you need to be leaving it a few hours or doing it the next morning. But if I'm doing it at the same time, even if it's not as much as I expect it to be, it's still... Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a consistent time. Fluid, yeah, I know. I, I do know what you're saying, but it's a it's a consistent time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That I'm doing it. I do agree with you, though. I did read something the other day that said, um, "Oh, apparently my results are coming from." So I've just had a notification to say my park run results are in, so I'll have a look at that now. Um, I read something that said the best time to weigh yourself is actually first thing in the morning, after you've been to the toilet, mm -hmm. and before you've eaten breakfast. Overnight, your body is naturally. So it might be worth doing your weigh-ins before you work out. First start. thing in the morning. So I might start doing that, yeah. I'll do with all the runs. Because mm. I know when I go to the gym on the first day, I get way before I work out. Always do. Okay, I'll give that a go. So, okay, so from Monday, I'll do that then. I'll weigh myself before I go for a run first thing. See what I am. And then see how we start the day. But 91.3 is still a loss. Yeah. I, I said that's net about 91, taking into account our scales. So my arm's killing old this. <laughs> God. Um, it's a lot of weight lifting. It is, yeah. Yeah, but you would have thought it would have helped <laughs> yeah, rather than hindered. Now. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, you're happy with what you've just lost, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I've gone down. I was. You've gone about about half at least, half kilogram at least. More than that, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, it depends. What That's what I'm saying. Not not knowing with what, what the scales not being fantastic. Um, if it's right compared to what I got weighed on first day, it's two kilograms. That's a lot, then. Three days, two yeah, days. So, so I, ca I can't see it being. No offence, I can't see it being two kilograms. That's four point four pounds in two days. You have been very. We have. We have actually been that bad Thursday, even though we didn't get weighed or I didn't get weighed at Manuel. We went to the pub, so we were a little bit naughty there. Oh, sorry, we have um, a lot of making noise. Oh yeah. Say hello to Hercules, stroke dog, stroke whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Um. So yeah, we weren't that bad on Thursday. So that's good going. So let's just let's just push on. Let's keep going. Keep pushing on. What? <laughs> I know. I know. Nobody knows where my top starts and you begin. <laughs> yeah. So bath time for me. Saturday afternoon now. So we've got not planned, have we? No. And yeah. I'll. I'm gonna do uh, join our video to this to explain what I've done, what I haven't done, and why. Yeah. Um, probably yeah. go into the fibre a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to. I think we also need to do. Or I want to do like a Q and A session, like a Q and A thing, to give you an idea of the kind of workouts that we do. Um, because when I started personally, I found it difficult to tailor things to to what I wanted to do. I had no yeah. idea where to begin. I think mean, um, when you work at home, you need to find your own routine. Yeah, you have to. But it's good to know what other people do, so then you can think, okay, oh, maybe I can either incorporate that or I can do something similar. Mm. Which is what I did. I, I found a few things online, and I thought, okay. You know, I, I can't do that because either I haven't got the time or I haven't got the energy at the time, at the moment. But I can at least build it into my own fitness plan. Yeah. Definitely. It's not as complicated as you think. It's, when I started, I thought that I thought, God, where am I going to begin? How do I do this? I haven't got a, I haven't got a scooby what I'm doing, you know. But you do, you, you, you pick it up. You find your own little routine. It's not all about the exercise, though. You have to have the right diet as well. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Your diet really counts for a lot. Yeah. It is definitely... I wouldn't say hard work, but it's definitely a 24 hour, seven day a week thing. You can't just do it one day a week and think you'll get results. You do have to keep at it. Especially uh, as you get older. I found it a lot easier when we were younger to lose weight. She's getting old now. Very old, got rid of you. Yeah, someone once told me um, that once you hit 30, he said you never lose the weight. And yeah, I'm a well, lot, I'm, I'm a lot, I'm a lot lighter now at nearly forty than I was at thirty. At thirty, I was nearly twenty stone. It probably just becomes a lot harder once you get to thirty. Yeah, energy wise and stuff. Yeah, and, and and obviously life, you know, life gets in the way, doesn't it? So you do need to find that balance, but you will. And hopefully, anything we can we can do to help that, you know, any any hints and suggestions you take from these videos, great. Uh, I think we need to go because it sounds like the cat's about to destroy our bedroom. So that's <laughs> us for the time being. Monday morning. Yep. 27th of Jan. Fresh out of bed. Yeah. Look at all these brushed your hair. Hey! Oh dear, I'm dead now. Um, I don't need to brush my hair. Look at that 
do you go on? Need to push this now as well. <laughs> yeah, every two days. <laughs> I've got booty oh, again. Yeah. Every two days I've got to do that, you know, shave. Otherwise you just woof. I'm a man now. No, you're a ginger. I'm beard. nearly 40, so I'm a man. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a patch and call you ginger beard. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, back on to what we were what we were talking about. So we're weighing ourselves every morning now. We're not every morning, but mornings now. Mm. To see if it makes a difference. So I was 91.3 the other day. Um, we roughly remember what you were the other day, don't we? So I think I did. So yeah. we'll, we'll have a look anyway and we'll see. So let's uh, let's get ourselves weighed. Me first or you? You go first. Okay, so take three. Uh, yeah, it must have thought it was on the light because the, the torch was on. But what are you? It's, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, moan over. So I've got socks on the toesies this morning. Not that it makes a difference, but um, I'm wearing uh, pajama bottoms as well. That won't make a difference, will it? No. They're not that heavy. And the top, top wise, I haven't got my usual Under Armour stuff on. So let's give this a go. 91.3 the other day. Let's check it on. There we go. 91.3. We are 90.8. So. So yeah, 90.8 for me. You've lost a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a secret why Emma's losing, she just doesn't want to tell you at the moment. I lost 0.4, but I want to That's tell good. you why, because it's That's good. But I think you're now roughly down to where you were, weren't you, when you were last, uh, your dietitian. Am I right? Yeah. So you, you're getting someone, you've still got over a month to Yeah, go. I've lost what I gained over Christmas and stuff. So Brilliant, got... good going. Uh, yeah, I, I'm on 90.8 according to those scales. It was 91.3, was ninth of the day, something like that. So that's about 0.5 off. We haven't had a bad weekend, food wise. I played football yesterday, so that was a workout. I'm not running today because my legs are a little bit sore. So I'm going to just do workouts in the house. I'm going to do crunches and I'm going to do a little bit of a cardio workout and I'm going to do my weights. Um, I need to get the gun. So. <laughs> um, I'm not sure where I'll go. I like You're a bit legs. tired, aren't you? So we'll see. We might go for a walk with you a little bit later. We're picking up Jackson soon, aren't we? So yeah. we'll get him and we'll find something to do. We've got to, we could go to New Brighton. We'll go to Home Bargains if you wanted. Oh, Home Bargains in Liverpool. Oh, yeah. amazing. <laughs> Next to Costco. Yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> I've seen something far more exciting. Everyone loves the shop. Apart from him. Apart from him. So yeah, so off to do a few workouts. So um won't be doing any more videos today, there's no point, is there? I don't think so. Because no. we've done the weigh-in video. Yeah. So No more now until Wednesday. No. Wednesday morning. When I should be going back out for a run. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. I have that effect on you, do you? <laughs> Wednesday morning. Uh, you're feeling worse for wear at the moment, aren't you? I mean that's fibers are really kicking off. You were going to go to the gym, but you can't even walk, can you? So it's going to be probably a, a day spent mostly in the house today. We might go out a little bit later on. I'm not going for a run. My, um, <laughs> I can get dressed. <laughs> that's a jump for me. Um, I haven't gone for a run and I'm not going for a run today. My ankle's playing up. I don't even know what I did, you know, on Sunday. I didn't turn on it or anything. I didn't twist it. I just felt a pain. I had a condition called, well I have a condition called plantar fasciitis. It's effectively, um, I don't know how to describe it, you just lose lose all feeling in your heel. It's pain, shoots through your ankle, it's horrid. I get it in my right, my right ankle and I've got it in my right ankle now. And when I put, try and put weight on my ankle and my foot, I get pain and I lose, I lose my balance. So I want to just rest it as much as I can. Don't want to go running. I'm not going football tomorrow. Might take Jordan, but I'm not. I'm not going. I'm going to play myself. And hopefully, the week to rest will do it good. See how I want Saki soon. Get back. From I said that about mine. He's getting worse. Yeah. Don't think mine's anywhere near as bad as yours. So, you know. Thank God for small mercies. Help. So, it's way in time anyway. It's Wednesday morning. So, so see what we've got on. Mm. Right, Emma's just weighed herself. She's lost a little bit, which is good. Which means that hers is going somewhere. Mine the other day, what did we say it was before? 91.3, I think, I looked at. So let's try again. I'm just hoping for the same. Uh, 91.7. 
So as if by the wonders of magic, <laughs> wonders of TV, we're now in a completely different location. Yeah, it's a bad day today. 91.7. Mm. Like you said, it's that pizza the other day, isn't it? We, we were a little bit naughty on Tuesday. We ain't overly naughty. We had a pizza and we had a, had a little bit of chocolate. But to be honest, I was craving it. I needed it. So. Sometimes when you you feel like you need it, it's best just to have it. Otherwise, you will have massive blowouts. Yeah, end up getting so, to a point where you just have to. I'm going to work out today, so I've got a feeling today I'm going to lose a little bit. So I'm, I would say net, I'm about 91. Hmm. Which yeah, I'm happy with. Those scales are wrong anyway, so you take off, what's it, point five? About that, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm nearly 90, four. yeah. Well, 91.2, isn't it? It's 0.5. Well, you were nine. No, 91.7. Nice. So I'll live with that. I'll live with that. So I'm going to go do some working out. I'm going to do a bit of a cardio working out and that's a batter. And I'm going to do my weights as normal. And then that'll be me. So light workout today. Um, are you going to try and do anything, or are you just going to? I can't rest? even stand up. <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah. I'm dreading even having to go downstairs. This is the problem with fibro, isn't it? If 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 you haven't had fibromyalgia or any kind of chronic illness, or you know you don't know anyone who's got a chronic illness, it's very hard to understand. I mean, even me, I, I, I don't even, I see Emma the way she is, unable to, to do things on certain days and, and, you know, these mad random pains every so often that just appear out of nowhere. But even I can't understand what it's like, what it feels like. It's like you know. when you get a trapped nerve, it's that sort of pain, but it's everywhere. And some of them are there constantly and some of them are just like shooting pains that come and go. Um, but it's not just like normal body pains, it's head as well. Yeah. So it affects your speech and your memory and everything. So it's fun then. Yeah, it's great. It's fun there. The one thing I struggle with, with your fibro, is when you get these pains and and my first instinct is, well, you need to go to the doctor and get that looked at. But then you say to me, but it's a fibro pain. No and it's, it's, yeah, it's difficult. It's like you, you get pains in your in your breasts sometimes, don't you? And I, the first thing I'm thinking of, well, well, obviously you need to get that looked at because if you're getting random pains there, then, you know, you obviously need to check for certain things. You get but then to... you say to me, but it's a fibro pain. And I'm yeah, like... You get used to what is and what isn't. It's mad, isn't it? It's, I mean, it, it, in, in one way, it's obviously good. It's good that it's nothing far more serious than because mm. as horrible as fibro is you wouldn't want anything far worse than that no i'm sort of lucky with what i've got because yeah. it means so you know what it is yeah and, and it can still manageable. function it's yeah. just in a different way yeah but it also means that you know you're going to get that pain back probably in an hour or yeah. the following day or in a couple of weeks on my leg at the minute yeah. i can't put any weight on my left leg and that's it's been like on and off for the last few days and now it's got to a point where I just, I can't cope with it. Yeah, it's too we've much. been, I've been uh, putting DP on it for you, haven't I? Trying to rub it. Because when I, when I, I'll, I'll try and massage an area for them. I can feel it's like a knot, but it's it's not, it's like a normal knot. It's like a, it's like a lump. It's the best way to describe it. It's like this hard lump. And as, as you massage it and you start to, you know, the pain starts to ease for you. I can feel that lump disappearing. Mm. So I know it's then and, and I know where it is. So, yeah, it's weird. It's it's, it's a strange yeah, condition. Bizarre. So anyone out there who's struggling with it, you know, we feel for you. We know what you're going through. Um, But equally, don't think that it's a condition that can take over your life. No. Well, it, you this know. is the worst I've been since, since I started working out in the gym. I got a lot better. So this is probably the worst I've been in like 12 months. Yeah, I, I, I would say consistently. Even, yeah, 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 you, 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 yeah, this is probably a, a what, what, what they class as a flare up, isn't it? Yeah, but this is, I've had other little bits of it sort of put me off going to the gym. Hmm. But this is the first time that it's actually physically stopped me from being able to go to the gym. Because I obviously yeah, can't walk to get yeah. in and out. Yeah, sometimes tiredness stops you, doesn't it? But yeah, it's hmm. definitely the first time that. Because 
So we still try to get yeah. there, don't we, as much as we can, because obviously if you stop, you seize up. It's like, like any normal, like having a back pain, isn't it? If you, mm -hmm. if you if you just lie down and don't do anything, it'll seize up and you need to try and keep some form of movement going. But Yeah. It's the yeah. worst thing with this position. It, it, a lot of people say that they're like bedridden and stuff and I can understand that from the pain, but that actually makes it worse. Yeah. In the long run, you're not letting your body... A group break because even though you think oh, I'm lying here, it's going to get better. It's it's actually not. Yeah. You're giving the pain a chance to get it's in your head and. Yeah. Well, there was a there was a study done, wasn't there, at Clatterbridge Hospital? The uh, Clatterbridge Hospital, mm -hmm. the local one, to us on the world, and it was a pain. Yeah, we we know what your thought is on that pain mm -hmm. management course, uh, but the pain management course there, they did a study and they actually said, and I think it does ring true, that that a lot of <clears throat> a lot of Battling the pain of fibro is it's a mental battle. I mean, it's not going to get rid of it, but no, what I'm saying is they made it seem though as if it is all in your head, which is what people. Oh have no, been no, no, for for no. Years what I, no, it's not. What I'm trying to say is that if you have, if you try and have a positive attitude towards it, you can cope with the effects. You're not going to get rid of them. But you can yeah. better better deal with the the effects of it. I'd say within your first two to three years of getting diagnosed, it, it is a constant battle, but you've got to keep going. Yeah. Because if you don't, it, it does get worse. That's and it what gets I'm to saying. Where you can't do nothing. And yeah. It, yeah, so it is in in that way. It is in your head. You've got to. You're not going to get better. You're not. No. You're not by having a positive mental attitude. You're going to get rid of it. That's not. It's, it's going to be with you for life. You yeah. just got to learn yeah. how to live with it the best way that you can. Yeah. That's what exercise has done for me. It's made me be able to do stuff that within like the first year, two years of getting diagnosed that I couldn't do. Yeah. I can walk a lot more than I did. So I'm a lot more able. I can carry my grandson around. I can get up and down the stairs. Um, I can go to the toilet myself. I, I can get a bath. You know, all the little stuff that... You still need help with these things though, don't yeah, you? You I need do. help getting in and out of the wrong. bath. It's and... not a case of like everything's completely better, no. but... It, the quality of life it has improved compared to that yeah yeah there's still aspects of your life that you, you you're always going to need help with yeah but on days like today you need total help i mean you're not going to be able to get down the stairs on your own so i'll yeah. i'll help you get down the stairs you're not going to be able I'm to get in the bath and just go down on me bum yeah that sounds like fun you're not going to be able to get in and out the bath you're probably not going to be able to wash yourself properly no. you know I, I, I do but these the are bath, things but I, I know i wouldn't be able to get in and out yeah. and even with Dave's help, I don't think I'll be asking me lag in and out. So I'll have to wait until I'm able. On that somber <laughs> note. That might all get edited out. <laughs> might, might not. So that's us for the week done. I'm not going to football tomorrow. I might take Jordan along if he wants to play. But I'm not playing myself because I'm just going to I'm gonna put myself in more, yeah. more pain. And, and the new season's starting in a few weeks, so I don't want to run the risk of missing weeks and weeks because I decided to play half of one friendly one week. Yeah, no, there's no point. It's just not worth it. So I'm definitely... You've got to know your limits. I'm definitely going to uh, give football a miss tomorrow. Um, I'm hopefully going to get back to running on Saturday. I still don't know whether to do park run on Saturday or not. You know, I, I can't decide. I'm on my own. I, I, I don't see the point. I'll just go running down New Brighton on my own. Anyway, see how I feel on uh, Friday night. Um, yeah. Possibly going to watch the football with my dad tonight. Don't think he's on in the pub, so might be going to this. Don't, Don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I don't think I'd be able to make it anyway. Yeah. We haven't got the money, so it's probably better going to my dad's anyway. Um, what else have we got to do in the week? We got anything really, have we? No. Plans are afoot for my birthday, aren't they? At the end of Feb. The big four hour. Yeah. I think we decided on a family meal at Hungry Horse. Hmm. So that should be fun. And then we'll go to the posh place and have steak on our own. <laughs> Miller and Carter. Oh, oh. God. That's one night when the diet just goes out the window. And to you... be fair, Miller and Carter's not that bad. Mm. Yeah, the lettuce wedge. The dressing's probably a bit naughty. And then the steak itself. Stop it. <laughs> God. This is going to turn into one of those other kind of videos in a minute. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh dear me! Let me leave you to it. <laughs> We've been rambling on for ten minutes here, so I think we better get going. Otherwise, this video is going to be three and a half hours long. It's just <laughs> us in bed. 
<laughs> now that's a video. <laughs> Sorry, babe. You nearly bought it. You last three hours. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm trying to keep it clean. I don't want YouTube to 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 to, to him in this video breaches its copyright laws. Oh. Bans the video for smutty behaviour. No <laughs> smutty one for you. Right, so we're going, going for a workout and then you're having a bath, I'm having a bath, I'm going to show you this monstrosity on my face. There's no way I'm getting in the bath. I'll wait till tomorrow and see how I feel. We'll try and get you in. Yeah. Sit on the edge, you've got your seat. Yeah. Sit on the seat, swing your leg in. That's the problem. Yeah. We'll work it out. One way to find out. So on that note, that's what's done for the week. Mm -hmm. So have we got any kind of... We say ahoy hoy to start. What do we say to end it? Don't be trying to think of ahoy hoy backwards. That just sounds weird. <laughs> That's what you were thinking, wasn't it? No, What's ahoy hoy backwards? <laughs> <sighs> Could just go with bye. And on that note, <laughs> back in the car. Hello. Back in the car after weighing. You yeah. did a little bit, didn't you? A, little, a few arms. Yeah, that was not it. Much. <laughs> Never near as much as I normally do. Do you want to tell the folk how you did? I lost, but I don't know how much I lost. About 1.8. Yes. From last week. Which is excellent, going. Back on track. Yeah. You know where you were middle of uh, November? Yeah. 18th of November, you were, you were exactly what you are today. So it's safe to say all the Christmas weight is gone. You're back on track. You've got a month left until you, yeah, your dietitian appointment. And they told you, didn't they, if you were down to the, if you were at that level that you were at when you were at the dietitian appointment. Yeah, I, I'm at, already at my five percent, but they wanted to see if I can still make more improvements. So, and it'd be me twelve months in March. It would be the last yeah. of the program. No, but th at that point they can look yeah. at referring you on, can't they, for the bariatric team? Yeah, so that, that's a completely different team. though. It's a whole new thing. Yeah. But it's a step in the right direction for you. Yeah. Which is what you want. So, yeah. Just got to crack on for the next, what, four weeks? Yeah. Well, just keep doing what we're doing. You, you don't need to change anything that you're doing. You, you're obviously on on the right track. You, you're doing the right things. Don't need to change anything. Don't need to put any more work in. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep plugging away. That's, that's I think that's weight loss. Yeah. That's weight loss 101 for me. You just keep, once you find something that works for you, you just keep plugging away. There's no... Sense how he's parking that. Certainly yes, looks like it, yeah. We'll show you that in a minute. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, yeah, are we going to turn this into a parking <laughs> channel, are we? <laughs> you know. You got to when it's that bad. Those, those parking idiots. Anyway, we digress. Um, yeah, I, I think that's the thing with weight loss. Like, there is no, there's no magic pill. There's no, there's no one thing that works universally for everyone. You find what works for you, and then you just keep at it, and you just don't stop. Yeah. You don't deviate from it. And I, I, it's I as simple as that. Really. The CBT stuff, because that for me was like the breaking point. And that's what really helped. Yeah. So I, I do need to go over that um, in more detail. Because it, it does, it actually really helped. I, I didn't want to go to it at first. Yeah. It was like a group thing, and I was just like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. But it was, it was so good. No, you, did. I did. you enjoyed that. Yeah. You came out of it very enthused. Mm. Yeah. It just also makes you realise that eating the way you are and being overweight, it's not, it's not actually an issue in the same way that you think it is. It, yeah. it is very psychological. So, yeah. But yeah, we'll do that in more detail in a different video. thing I find about, about weight, you know, I, I don't know if other people feel the same. I don't know if you feel the same. You don't, you're not unhappy, are you? No. But when you look back at yourself, you think, Jesus, I was unhealthy. I, I, that's how I look at myself now. I think, yeah, you're, I, you're, I, you're happy in yourself. Yeah. It's not like I was depressed or I was miserable or I didn't enjoy life. I, I, I just, but I look back now and I think, how how was I... Uh, you know, I'm happy as I am now. How was I happy then? D does that make any sense? Yeah, sort of. Do you know what I mean? Not in a bad way. I, I just, I, it, and I think to myself, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't in a bad place at all. Yeah. In a really good place. I've always been 
it's just your help isn't it it gets to you and yeah. it's little things that you can't do or you think you can't do yeah but that is the same sort of as the fiber though you think you can't yeah. do it so you don't do it yeah when actually you can you can push yourself it hurts but you can push yourself yeah and you'll feel the benefits of it afterwards but yeah, your turn later. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do. I'm, I really want to be in, the, in just in the 90 category somewhere. Yeah. 90 points something, that, that's, that's what I'm aiming for. The hump for me is 90 kilograms. I, I want to get below 90 kilograms and I've been trying for about six months. And I don't know why I can't, I can't actually get there. I will do one day. Sure I will. If anything, my aim is actually to get to where Jordan is. Jordan's about 87. That's, that's what I want to do. Yeah. And I'm hoping that if I do that, it then pushes him on a bit. I mean, he's not big himself, but he, he is concerned about starting to put weight on. So I'm hoping yeah. if I can get there, I, I can give him the impetus. To, he doesn't you know, need competition to between the two of us. He's a bit healthier, so it doesn't yeah. in the future pile on, because that's what it did with us. Yeah. You, you don't realise it you, bit by no. bit. Yeah, well, yeah, that, 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 that's that's how I ended up. I think that's another video. We we wanted to do, like, Q&A videos, didn't we? And I think that's good to talk about that. Why why were we in the place that we were in, mm. weight-wise? How did we get there? You know, psychologically, what was going on with us? And then how how are we managing to get away from it? What are we doing to... Because I, I think I think that's the one thing that, that a lot of people struggle with. It's not the actual basics of doing it. Everyone can do it. It's psychologically doing it. Mm. It's getting yourself in the right mindset to do it, you know. Anyway, we digress again. <laughs> so, um, really, really want to take a picture of that car, you know, and send it to one of them pages. Do it. Because it's awful, it isn't it? Should, to be done. should we show everyone? So they're all parked quite normal, aren't they? Yeah, you're watching, you're watching, you're watching. And then there's him. That is awful, isn't it? Yeah, that's not even an attempt. Should we take a picture and send it to one of them parking pages? Yeah, I think he deserves a parking like that. What's, what's that one we're on on Facebook? We're all parking idiots. Yeah. Yeah, they're funny. I like them. I think we'll send it to them. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. But yeah, we're on a completely different tangent here. <laughs> right, so uh, off downtown for us now. I've got to pick up a prescription. And then uh, we're going to Tesco. Yeah. And pick up some midget gems. I have midget gems at football. Uh, not just because I'm a midget gem freak, I am, but um, it's good for sugar. So we have them at, at half time. Gives us they're a good actually, sugar rush. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you the traffic lights on them. They're actually really good. Yeah. And if you want, just it's like just a the sugars that are bad, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, sugars are amber, I think. Everything yeah, else is amber green. And greens. But obviously, if you eat the whole pack, then it's going to be bad well, for you. Yeah, but... which in Jordan don't do on our way home. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> well, someone's got to eat them. We're, we're left with three quarters of a pack left. So, what are we going to do? Everybody else at half time. Yeah. I'm known as the midget gem man now, I think. For football. <laughs> Dave, the midget gem man. I'm going to get that on a t shirt. I think we should start selling that. <laughs> oh no. Right. Are we going? Yes. Yeah. See you soon. So we sort of lied yesterday, didn't we? When we said that we wouldn't be doing any more videos, that that would be a... Yeah. This being Thursday morning, um, we are at... Trammy Rovers. Trammy Rovers. Trammy Rovers. Hey, you're about to get weighed. You're not going to the gym, are you? Because your leg's still not good. No, if I can't do anything while I'm in there, I will. But I doubt it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, well, I hope not, because I thought I was coming in with you. Yeah, you're just going to have to help me from one machine to the next. Well, okay, well, that will be fun. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we're doing this morning, and I am going football later. My ankle's a lot better this morning than it was Tuesday morning. It was quite bad. Yesterday it wasn't, it was okay, but, but also, I'm off to football later, and I'll get laid. Yeah? yeah. So that's where we are this morning? Yeah, I'll tell you how we get on with weigh-ins. Should we go and uh, get you weighed then first, and yeah. see how you are? We beat all the scales. Well, we're ready, sir. Step on the scales, if you will. Welcome to Manuel on the 30th of January. David, you're 91.4 kilo. That's a loss of 0.4. Very, very impressive. As you can tell, 
glorious evening here at uh, Heron Echoes. Where this wind come from? Jesus! It was all right earlier on on the drive. Didn't think it'd be this bad, but this is it's not going to be sideways. Right, so 91.4 um, was my weight this evening. Um, could be better. Could be a lot better, I suppose. Could be worse. Um, so we just need to keep going, need to push on. Jordan unfortunately isn't with me this evening. He's been held up a course in Nosley. Uh, so I'm doing goals all on my own. <sighs> Fun stuff. So anyway, so yeah, so 91.4. Uh, I was about 91.8 last time I came, a couple of weeks ago. So I'll live with that. I'll put up with that. So I'm going to try and get a few videos with a few other people. A guy called Alan, I think, has uh, agreed to give us a bit of a detail of his weight loss journey. I'm going to have a chat with him, see what we can get. I'm down to some footy in this glorious wind. Let's take that goal, look at that. Can you see that? It's not doing it now. The wind was pushing the goal a few minutes ago. And I'm not going to push it there. Right, Alan, Hello. Evans, uh, one of the guys who plays at Manwell with me, uh, just wants to get in for a little chat to find out what's one more like for you, what's your journey been so far? Um, start from the beginning, why did you join Manwell, what, what was your reason behind joining Manwell? Uh, I needed to lose some weight, it was the first thing, yeah. but um, as you can see, no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not been overly successful in that sense, but um, you know, Doing something to yeah. try and control my weight yeah. has, has stopped it spiraling. So while it's not okay. while it's not coming down as much as maybe I'd like it to, yeah. I um, it's it, it's keeping it at least on the. I, I suppose that's good because uh, people watching this might struggle to, to lose weight like yourself. Yeah. Might struggle to actually you know to actually get rid of anything. But it's good to know that. It's at least got some positive benefits for you. Yeah. You know, yeah. that you, you, you get somewhere with it. Yeah. And aside from that, the exercise is absolutely fantastic. One of the things that a lot of people who, who are overweight fail to do is exercise because yeah. they have it in their head that they can't do that, they can't exercise. They, yeah, you know, yeah you know, I agree with that, yeah. Yeah, I'm fat, I can't do that. You see lads running around the football pitch and you go, I can't, that's not for me. Yeah. That's not for me, I can't do that. Yeah. But we come here every every Thursday. We play, and you know this isn't working football. This is full, you know, full pelt, full on football. Yeah, maybe we're not all whippets, and you know we're not all going to like run hundred meters in twelve seconds. You know, but you know we it, can try. Yeah, we can we can try. Yeah. You can. Yeah. I know. I, know I you, wish. Yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can. I run hundred meters in about twelve minutes. Yeah. Well, at least you get there. That's, but, that's the point. Yeah. yeah that's, Without dying at the yeah. end. Uh, that's why I play in goal though, so I don't have to run. Yeah, Alan's our resident goalkeeper. He, he, he's one of a fair few good ones, but I, I think it's fair to say Alan's probably um, top notch. Yeah. Get me out on Sunday yeah. anyway. You know, so. Watch the video. Oh, it's already off. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we already done that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, you can't see me. I'm literally miles away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, we digress. We do. We yes. Do. So, how long have you been with Mama? When did you start? Uh, right from the beginning. Um, I, I started. May 2018. Yeah. Did you start that? Yeah, you? yeah. Okay. From the first season, I didn't do the um, the, the Sunday football right. thing. Um, but yeah, I was right from the very beginning. I was um, I was in there the, for the first season, the first trial season. And was it was it weight loss that you mainly joined for, or was there another reason that you, was, you wanted it, to give it a go? It was it was weight loss that I joined for, but it's it's, it's actually become a bit of a, a secondary thing, although still really important. The thing that's really important to me at the moment is uh, mental health. Yeah. Because a lot of people who are overweight either have poor mental health because they're overweight yeah. or they're overweight because they have poor mental health. Yeah, it swings around yeah. a lot kind of thing. And sometimes it? yeah, yeah, it's yeah. both. You know, being overweight and being depressed is even more depressing. Yeah. You know, 
agree with you. When, when you when you're getting up from the couch and you're struggling and even walking up the stairs is is, is really hard. Yeah. And you already feel shit about yourself. Yeah. You know, it only makes you feel even worse. Would you and, say that's improved then joining Mumble? Oh, I mean, massive, I mean, yeah, well, obviously, you know, you, you may still struggle yeah, with certain yeah, things. Yeah. What would you say that you feel like you're getting somewhere? Yeah, oh, absolutely. It is. Yeah, it's some form well, of improvement. Well, I've had probably one of the hardest years of my life that I've had this last year. It's been really difficult, really tough. I lost my job, my wife lost my job. Um, our kids have been struggling with, with various things. So it's been really, really, really tough. And if it wasn't for Manuel, I don't actually think I'd be studying. Yeah, God. Because coming, being able to come here every week and having mates, I mean, mates. I, yeah. Yeah. Before I came to Manuel, I didn't really know what a mate was. Yeah. You know, I had people that I spoke to, people who I got on well with, but mates, you know, yeah. people oh, I'd no, go to the no, pub no. with, no, not, not like that at all. And and having lads around who, who know what I'm feeling like and can share what I'm feeling like and understand. And even if they see me feeling a bit shit, I'll get home after the football and I'll get a message through saying, so you were a bit... A lot of that on yeah, spot, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant, yeah, that, the way yeah. everyone comes together. You just have to put something on, don't you? Yeah. You know, I've had a crap yeah. day or yeah. just something generic. Yeah, and there was something right near the beginning. One of the lads um, felt the need to put something on spot. And he was, I think he was probably the first one. And he put sort of a big, long post about how shit he was feeling and how crap he was feeling. And then underneath there was loads of other people putting loads of people supporting them and saying really good that you're talking yeah. really important to talk and it really is important to talk mm. but then underneath including myself people were putting their stories underneath yeah. and it was yeah. almost like this um this collective catharsis yeah it was like everybody was like you know, we're blokes, we don't talk, we don't we don't talk about feelings, we don't yeah. talk about being depressed, we don't talk about shit like that, we just yeah. go out and play football and, just and, get and, it, yeah. and, and have banter and stuff like that. Yeah. But it was almost like that one lad had given everyone permission to say, well actually, there's more to it than this, there's yeah. more to it than this. You know, and, and they did, they, they, everyone almost let out a big deep breath and went, you're not alone, mate. Yeah. You're not alone because I feel shit and he feels shit. And but together we're all going to feel so much better. Yeah, I agree with you there. Brilliant. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, okay. I think we're going to have to go and get playing now. It's yeah. early. What is it? Ten to seven. Yeah. Um, who are you playing with? I, I'm are you, on. Uh, are you on the middle pitch? I'm on the middle pitch. Yeah. I think I'm on that. <laughs> so, oh, um, you're enough to try and get past me today, then. Yeah. You're looking forward to the new season before we go. Absolutely, can't wait. Yeah. Hopefully Top. start at the end of Feb, I believe. Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm hoping that I, I, I'm on a team with a striker this year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I am on a team with a striker for ages. You, know, you were and... our striker when I was in your team. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why we didn't play very well. <laughs> Canel. Anyway, thanks for that. No, appreciate cheers. that. slight development since the last video I did with Alan um, I've gone and pulled my hamstring playing football so effectively I'm now unable to run and play football for probably about two weeks at least so I'm going to have to no, both of us have got messed up though. yeah, I'm going to have to jimmy round me, me workout routine still going to work out, I can do weights and stuff obviously Although I don't think I'll be able to do squats. No. Um, and I'm not going to be able to do I can do crunches fine. They won't be a problem. There is a cardio that I do. It's only jumping. So I can probably get away with doing that. Because it's not really putting that much strain on me. Like, more about when you land. Uh, it, 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 yeah, but it's more it's more the... the Taking the impact a lot. Yeah. You like yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to try it and see, see how it goes. So, yeah. That's a bit of a crummy end to what was a good week. Well, we just had the loss, that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I want to say thanks to Alan for contributing towards this week's video. Brilliant. Good stuff. Yeah. Really good stuff. Um, it's good to get someone else's perspective 
on on weight loss and Manuel and the struggles that they go through. Um, because I'm we're conscious that it's just me and you prattling on every week, aren't we? So I'd like to be able to do that every at least once a week if I can, not once every two weeks with somebody else from Manuel. Get somebody else's perspective, see how they're getting on. But no, Alan was brilliant. Um, he's a lovely bloke anyway, Alan. He's uh, he's one of the well, they're all nice at Manuel. They're all great blokes at Manuel, but he's 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 top notch. Um, so thanks, mate. Thanks for doing the video with us. Hopefully, see you again soon. Yeah. That's us. Week done. Back on so, again tomorrow. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, we don't like doing this, but if you can like and subscribe our videos. Or like like the videos, subscribe to our channel. We would be uh, much appreciated.